everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome, I'm Clea. If you're not, what is up, welcome. So for today's video, we did a New Year's Eve inspired look. I cannot believe we are at the end of 2021. Where did time go? I mean, seriously, like I feel like this year, I blinked and it's over, it's nuts. But if you have some goals you wanna accomplish for 2022, I encourage that you write them down and put them in a place where you can look at them every day so that way you can go ahead and accomplish those goals. That's what I did for 2021. So. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I hope you love this look. It was super easy to achieve. Um, like I always say, if I can do it, so can you. So thank you so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hello, everyone. All right, so we're going to go ahead and apply concealer first on our eyelid. And now I'm going to go in with this matte, like, super light brown shade. We're going to go ahead and apply that in our crease first just to go ahead and add some dimension in the eye. And then I'm going to go in with this darker shade that I'm showing you right here. And we're going to apply that over just to go ahead and add some depth into the eye. That way it doesn't look super flat with just the sparkle on it. So I'm going to go ahead and use just my fingertip and apply the shimmer shade. We're going to go ahead and apply it all over our lid. And it honestly stayed the whole day. I was pretty impressed with the Patrick Ta um, palette. So that's what I used. And then I use a brush just to go ahead and intensify it some more. You really didn't need much of this product. I felt like a little went a long way. So now I'm going in with, again, the same dark brown shade just to intensify it a little bit more, again, to add some more dimension into the eye. Because sometimes just adding shimmer makes it look a little flat, in my opinion. And now I'm just going to go in with some liner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just wing out the outer part using this liquid liner. I forget what brand this is. I think this is Patrick Star. I'll leave it down below for you. But I went in on the outer part, and then I lined the inner corner of my eye as well. Now we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier um, primer, and then I go in, with, go in with this Revlon foundation. I'm going to go ahead and just apply it all over with a brush first, and then I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender, and, and we're going to go ahead and just make sure it's all nice and blended. That foundation is pretty nice. It adds um, a ton of coverage, and it's also buildable, and it's super affordable. So now I'm going in with some Beauty Counter Concealer. I like this one. It's very light, and it's also buildable, and just very easy to blend. And I'm using my brush. I've been using my brush first, and then I will go in with a beauty blender just to go ahead and soak up any excess product that I may have added. But I do like using a brush just because I think you get the most out of your product with that first. And yeah, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Just apply it where I see fit and kind of just blend everything all together so it all meshes. Now I'm going in with this Patrick Ta um, cream contour. I'm going to go ahead and apply the bronzer on the upper part of my cheeks to go ahead and make it look, I don't know, super sharp. And then we're going to apply it in our, on our forehead and anywhere you want to contour. And then I'm going to go in with the powder part of that um, palette as well. But I use a beauty blender first just to blend out that contour. I like using a beauty blender just because, again, it adds or it makes everything look very blended. So now I'm going in with some translucent powder. Not baking today. I just wanted to show you guys, again, how easy a look like this can be. And you don't need to be intimidated by wearing a ton of makeup. So we're just going to go ahead and apply translucent powder all over. And then my brows are all done. So we're going to go in now again with the um, bronzer of that same palette. And we're going to go ahead and just go over that contour just to go ahead and add some color into the face. That way it looks nice and bronze. And now I'm going in with some blush. This one is from Beauty Counter. This one has a little bit of a shimmer in it. So I did like um, how that came out on my face. <laughs> it looked really nice. And then I went in with... Um, the highlighter which is right here as well just to go ahead and intensify the look a little bit more nothing crazy and then there you go there's the highlighter you can honestly do a little you can do a lot whatever you guys want to do go in with some lip liner and some lipstick and that is it guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye